Sorry, I'm late, guys. Just had to photocopy some more sheets as we have a new person with us today. Oh. Let's start this meeting with you guys introducing yourself to the group. Anna. Alexia. Anna's sister. Shannon. And you are the Cord family. Well, welcome. Basically, what we do here is we talk about issues surrounding borderline personality disorder and how this affects us from day to day. Sometimes a group reads out extracts from blogs or if somebody from the group wants to read out something they've written, then they can do. Okay, well, that's enough of me rambling on. Is there anything anybody would like to start with? Last week, we talked about starting a diary to write down what we're feeling. And I started mine. I started by writing down the like, stuff I was doing, but as I got more into it, I started writing down what I felt and why. I told you to do that ages ago, but you won't listen. She won't listen to me. Yeah, well, it actually really helped, because, like, lately... Well, if you'd only listen to me... I asked you if you wanted me to talk you through the pots thing, but you just carried on watching TV, the so it's one bit of downtime oh. I get... Oh, no. sorry. I need to leave. Um, Leo is talking about the POTS exercise we did a few weeks ago. Can you hand this down to Anna and Alexia, please? There's an explanation on the top for what it's for, but I'll explain it to you after the session. Carry on, Leah. I think Leah was most upset this week about the job interview she went to, weren't you? Oh, yeah. I had an interview for a placement to do with my college work, and the school asked me loads of stuff, and I said... I had meetings here for this every week, so I wouldn't be able to do certain days. But it's because... Basically, they didn't give her the job or whatever because she's a BPD sufferer. Tablets, please. I'm leave taking them as it is. They're in my bag, they are. Well, I can't keep them in the kitchen anymore, can I? What's she talking about? There's no pills in here. Oh, and she's been betting again. You selfish bitch. Excuse That's what you left the meeting for, isn't it? Excuse me? Put that down, please. Do you have any idea what that meeting meant to Anna? What it meant to us as a fucking family? You didn't give a shit, do you? Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady, while you're under this roof. You'll have some fucking respect for me. What? Respect? For you? Oh, you know what? Fuck you! Fuck you! That's it! Don't you dare speak to me like that, young lady, and undermine my authority! It's more discipline you need. Your father's been far too soft on the pair of you! That's why you've turned up like you are! Giving me stress, giving me grief, giving me hassle and stressing me out, but I can't take it anymore! Do you understand me now? I can't take it anymore! Just 
teaching me ages to get there already. Do you know your teacher know that you were out? So all I need is her bloody ringing me now. Where are you? She had my tablet, you could have got him off that. Huh? I just hope she's alright. It's like a bloody killer. Oh, God. God, you're alright. Oh, Hi, darling. I'm here. Hi, Lexi. She's going to be all right. They'll let you up later. I sort you out there. Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm all worried. Don't go with him. Oh, please don't. Jesus, what are you doing? Slowly, slowly, careful. If we get upstairs, then maybe you'll be alright. <laughs> 